everyone welcome to my channel welcome back to a brand new video hope you're all doing well and having a lovely day if you're new here welcome to the channel guys my name's amanda and today i have a poundland haul for you guys of course it's halloween so i've been into poundland really to pick up two items that i've seen online and i thought yes those two items can be like really good staple pieces for halloween one of them can actually be used for autumn but the other one is definitely a halloween item so yeah i've also picked up some bits from tesco okay some halloween bits from tesco for my little boy oakley and this is like following on from my previous videos my come shop with me is at both poundland and also tesco so i thought i'd share them with you because we're going to start decorating for halloween um this evening and get that out on a video for you for tomorrow so there's going to be an extra video tomorrow friday yes guys friday i know i normally do tuesday thursday and sunday at the minute it's half term so it's whatever goes whatever time i get a chance to actually sit down and film so my vision is to actually bring you a video tomorrow as well and that's going to be decorate with me or decorate with us for halloween back to this haul today guys it's a halloween poundland haul mainly and a few items from tesco and i think i might even have one item from pound stretcher yes i do i've got one item from pound stretcher as well that i'd like to show you all halloween related okay the first item i'm going to show you is, the, is what i really went into poundland to get and i was so happy because when i went into the store they only had like one or two of these left on the shelf and I thought, yes, I have to get it. So it's this, guys. Yes, I know it's a little bit garish, a little bit really like Halloween-y. But I'm actually thinking to sort of do a quick DIY on this. I don't even know if I'm going to get a chance to do it before Monday or before my um, decorate with me for, um, I keep saying autumn, or before we decorate the living room for Halloween. You know, but I'm really going to try my best to sort of like tone this down a little bit because as you can see, whoa it is a little bit garish now what it is as you can see it's a skull and it's on top of this red faux book and i thought this was absolutely genius idea it's also got these black roses on top of the skull head there so i thought this was a good piece to get for halloween and this is a piece that you can take out every year for halloween you know and yeah it was set it would it would stand the test of time you know so this was actually eight pounds eight pounds in poundland i can appreciate it i've seen similar in like tk max and home scent very similar and for a lot more as well you know so yeah so i've got that and that was eight pounds so the next item i picked up were these scarlet string lights so i've got them in gold i think they actually come in silver as well um unfortunately i forgot to get batteries i need to pop back down to powerland and get some batteries but you can see that they are gold color string lights in fact what i'm going to do i'm going to take some batteries out of something else so i've just borrowed some batteries from um <laughs> the remote control Hopefully, they're going to be strong enough to actually illuminate this. Oh, okay, so it's perfect. They work. So there we go. We have these skull lights, and I've got them in, like, the warm light tone ones. They also have, like, a more sort of white light ones, but I've gone for these because I think they look, like, better with the decorations. So you get a set of eight scarlet string lights, and these are £2. Put those to one side. Okay, so next up, I've got this set of free ghost balloons, and it's like a little kit where you get the balloons and you get some netting with it to create the ghost balloons like that. So Oakley's actually blown one up already. So that's how the balloon is. It's just a white balloon with the ghost face on it. But in the kit, it actually comes with some netting that you just put over the balloon to create the ghost. So like that, you just put the netting over it. I think that's how you're supposed to do it. Or something like that anyway and then you've got your ghost balloons and those were three pounds okay so next i've got this halloween franken style kind of styly mask so this is on like a foam backing so it comes like with a long elastic at the back there so if i try and try it on there you go <laughs> that's what it looks like so yes guys i'm probably going to be frankenstein this year so yes yeah, so i've got that and that was one pound fifty next up in poundland i picked up another set of these led tea light candles so these are perfect for using in like things like this like a little 
candle holder or a tea light holder so these are actually from last year from poundland or even the year before so what i would normally do is like not use a real tea light candle in them you know i've got loads of the real tea light candles but with children around or oakley's around i prefer just to use these okay so with these you just put the little switch on underneath and then you just pop it into your little candle holder like that and then you can see like the glow of the candle just flickering through okay so those are still a pound for a pack of four in poundland this year i did actually get a set of these last year but we can only find two out of four of them so um yeah i've just gone back to get more so i've got quite a few of these to sort of like dot around um, for part of our halloween decoration so yeah those are still a pound in Poundland for a pack of four, okay? Okay, so next up, this is also one of the items that I did go into Poundland to get. And not all of the Poundland stores have this in stock. You know, this is like a very rarity this year. It's a bit like the glass pumpkin cookie jar that B&M was doing a few years ago that everyone wanted to get their hands on. You know, it's a bit like that. So Poundland have come with these LED glass pumpkins, okay? and absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy that I was able to get a set. They're well packaged, okay? So this is how it looks, guys. You get a set of three glass pumpkins, but these are LED pumpkins, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just gonna switch one on and show you how it looks. And guys, there you go. Stunning, absolutely stunning. They are, honestly. I mean, I've done all my autumn decorating. It's now time for Halloween, but these will be perfect for next year, for autumn decorating and also for Halloween. So yes, I've got them and they're quite a bright light in now. I don't know if you guys can see how much that is illuminating. You know, they're so gorgeous. So yeah, those were, a, um, not a pound, <laughs> those were eight pounds for the set of three of them but again i can appreciate this because they're quite heavy and they also have the lights in them as well so poundland you've done it you've done it you really have done it these are absolutely stunning okay i mean any diy are out there you can if you fancy you can actually diy these but as they stand you don't need to do anything with them they're just so so gorgeous stunning Oh my goodness. I'm gonna put the other one on as well. Absolutely gorgeous. It's actually quite bright, you know, really quite bright. Love those. Okay, and these again can be like, you know, your Halloween or autumn staple pieces from Poundland. Just pack them away back into the box because they are well packed and then just store them away in the loft when you're not using them and then take them out for next year, you know, all good. So yeah, so I'm so glad that I was able to get my hands on those. And in fact, I didn't get those from my local store. I had to travel a little bit to get those, but um, it was worth the travel, <laughs> okay? Okay, so next I'm gonna show you some of the items that I picked up in Tesco for Halloween. Um, you would have probably seen these on my Come Shop With Me video. So I picked up this pumpkin carving kit that was 75p in tesco okay so you've got the little scoop you've got the knife and you've got like another skewer kind of thing there as well 75p then i picked up these two sets of spooky children's tattoos so that one's got all these characters on it like so and then this one is a little bit more garish it's like wounds you know open wounds and so on so we're gonna have lots of fun with those and i think these were like a pound each i also picked up this set of warning tape and i think this was like a pound 50 or pound in tesco Okay, so you've got like three, three sets of tapes. And then next up from Tesco, I picked up this Halloween projector torch for Little Oakley. I'm just gonna take it out and show you. Okay, so you've got this adapter here, so you could imagine that reflecting onto the wall. And then you've got this one here. Okay, and then you've got a spider web, a ghost, and a pumpkin then you just put one of your on there like that and then that reflects see that onto my hand so you can imagine that reflecting onto a dark wall or a dark you know in a dark area so yeah you've got the spider web one there the pumpkin <laughs> The skull, 
Ooh, like that. I know I'm not really doing a good demonstration of it, but you get the idea. And that was a pound fifty for the kit. So you get the torch and you get five different um, projector doodars to go with it. Okay, so next up from Tesco, I picked up this candle. So this is it here. It was in the um, autumn section actually. And I just absolutely love the detail on the glass. It's like actually sketched into the glass. So you've got all those autumnal leaves there going on. And the scent of this one is autumn leaves. It smells very autumnal. It's got like vanilla -y kind of spicy kind of scent to it. And yeah, it's a nice little candle. And I think this was £2.50 in Tesco. And then last up from Tesco, I picked up this candle which is a Yankee candle, okay, and it's in the scent Hello Pumpkin, and this one smells absolutely gorgeous. Now, I didn't get a chance to go to Home Bargains to get, like, my usual Wickford and Cole candle. I've actually got one of those from last year, but the scent of it is, like, kind of fading away. So when I saw this in Tesco in the specials with the club card, Tesco club card, this is actually reduced down to £11. And I just had to get it because it smells absolutely gorgeous. It smells delicious and you can't really go wrong with a Yankee candle, can you? So yeah, so I've got that as well out of Tesco um, with the um, Tesco Club card. I think it was £11. Yes. So the next item I'm going to show is actually one item that I picked up in Pound Stretcher. So like I said, I didn't get a chance to get to or go to um, Home Bargains um, yet for autumn or for Halloween. I'm probably not going to get down there anytime soon but um i know they had these in stock in home bargains and i really wanted to get them but when i saw these which are decorative bats in pound stretcher i thought yes those would do get a pack of 22 all different size bats in this pack and this pack was like one pound 49 i know the home bargains one you probably get more of the bats but this is absolutely fine for what i want to use it for I want to do something like this. I'm going to insert a picture just on the side here around my mirror in this area here. I'm going to have all the bats coming down the side and then decorate this all lovely. So do stay tuned for tomorrow's video where we're going to be decorating for Halloween. Um, mainly this area, to be fair. We're not going to go all out there. Even though I've shown you all these items, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use all of them because this is such a small area. So I'm absolutely loving how my autumn decoration is still looking on my little fireplace over here you know it'd be a shame to take it down so what i might do is just um incorporate the halloween stuff with this if you get what i mean but just putting the bats around the mirror it's all going to look really lovely all very tasteful as well i'm not going to have it all garish even though i've shown you <laughs> this little fella this is probably the only garish thing that we have you know for um halloween this year but um yeah so that's the end of my haul guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Do give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my up and coming videos. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate all of you around here. Take care, keep well, and I shall see you very soon on the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.